Hello, hello everyone. Good morning. Grazie. Hello. Grazie. Grazie, benvenuti a tutti. Welcome everyone uh, here and uh, live in streaming on on YouTube. Um, you know, we, we have picked the algorithms keyword to uh, to discuss and study and investigate in, in the next hours. Um, Algorithms are, are already part of our daily life, and uh, the algorithms we are going to write together are, will, will shape our future. Um, you know that State of the Net, uh, for State of the Net, is the first time here in, in Milan. Uh, it, we, uh, as a conference, as an event, were made in Friuli Venezia Giulia, that uh, tiny region uh, in the eastern part of Europe at the border, uh, but actually uh, in, in the center of, of Europe. Um, this year, anyway, Milan seems to be at the center of, of the world thanks to the global exposition, so it was the right year to, to be here uh, with you and, and to discover this new place. Uh, we have lots of uh, thanks to, to say before starting with, with our speakers. Um, our partners uh, help us and mm, support us to, to bring all these speakers together and to offer you this uh, day of work and, and thought, we, we hope. Uh, the first one uh, is, is the autonomous region, the local government of, of Friuli Venezia Giulia that has supported uh, State of the Net since the start in 2008 and this year too uh, is supporting us. State of the Net is part of the events uh, organized by Friuli Venezia Giulia in Milan 2015 for the global exposition. Then, of course, we have our host today, this lovely location, recently uh, opened the uh, Unicredit Pavilion, uh, the home of, of Unicredit, uh, that is hosting us in this beautiful place, in, in a symbol of, of, the, new, of the new Milan. Um, and obviously we have other partners that are crucial to our uh, organization, as you can see, uh, Autovie Venete, any generali and and then our technical sponsors that helped us to bring people here to have coffee and and to have a lovely uh, dinner with our speakers so e dreams uh, facility live and Italy maybe you can guess which one uh, will offer you a coffee uh, in 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 the break in in the break in in some minutes uh, so thank you, thank you again, and uh, we are ready to, to start, Sergio. Yes, we are almost ready to start. First of all, I want to answer to a question you all maybe are wondering about, which is the password of the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi password is Sotn PV2015, Sotn like State of the Net, PV like Pavilion or Paolo Valdemarin, and the year 2015. Uh, we have an hashtag. Please. Uh, always use the hashtag uh, Sotten15 if you share contents on your social channels. We are on streaming. We, we say hello also to people at home and in their office may be connected with us this morning. Uh, remember, we are on streaming on our um, website and on our channel on YouTube. Remember that on YouTube we have all the sessions and all the speakers since the beginning of, the, of our project, our event in 2008. Uh, it's a big slice of the state of then, the state of the yesterday, and now the state of today, and maybe also the state of how badly we are <laughs> aging altogether. Um, we have people registered from a lot of different um, nations in uh, Europe, and not, and not only in Europe. Norway, Germany, Switzerland, the UK, Sweden, Israel, Iran. We have people from Iran in the, in the room today. Uh, Belgium, the Netherlands, Ireland, Albania. Uh, also, I'd like to greet our uh, steering committee, which helps a, a lot of, uh, to, to build this uh, event during the year. They are very passionate people. 
and I want to thank them. And uh, Johan Sample, Luca De Biasa, Gigi Tagliapietra, Adriana Lucas, Marco Massarotto, Antonella Napolitano, Daniele Chieffi, Mafia De Baggis, Massimo Russo, Tom Zilstra, and our friend Marco Zamperini in some possible way. Also today, it would have been the birthday of um, Alberto Dottavi, and we want to thank uh, a team. So, we are almost ready to start, Paolo. What about the algorithm? Um, last night, with our Persian friends, um, I was uh, told that uh, the term algorithm actually comes from the name of a 9th century Persian mathematician called al Arasmi. And uh, I think that it's very interesting to see how today algorithms are becoming more and more important uh, in what we do. This is why we organize this day. We are going to go through many ways of uh, understanding and interpreting how from many different angles algorithms are influencing our life. Uh, what is an algorithm? Uh, we are going to have very good explanations. Just to, to keep it simple, every time you set up a, a simple spreadsheet, probably you're setting up an algorithm. Algorithms are rules that help process data. Given that we live in a world where more and more data is generated, we are generating in one day today more data than the rest of humanity generated until uh, in the last many centuries. We need to have tools to process this information, and algorithms are what uh, today are helping processing this information, and they are defining and creating the fortune of companies all over the world. When you run a search on Google, the, the thing that determines what you find at the top of your page is an algorithm, and this algorithm created Google. If you use Facebook and uh, you see the posts of your friends on your page, there is an algorithm that defines what you're actually seeing. And uh, if you think about it, uh, this is a piece of software that every day is touching 1.5 billion people. Never happened in a history. And again, it's an algorithm. Uh, we will see how algorithm will change the future. I mean, uh, Google is, uh, is creating self-driving car. Uh, Volkswagen is creating cheating cars. Apple will be creating very cool cars. Uh, and all this is based on very, very clever new ways uh, of managing information, of creating smart software. The future will be even, some say that the next 10 years will change the, our uh, society more than the last 50 years, and it is probably true. We will see whole types of jobs disappearing, we will see new type of jobs appearing. Uh, computers becoming smarter and smarter and more and more intelligent will probably change significantly the way we live. And uh, we are all gathered here today to have a peek into this future, to try to understand better how it's going to work. So the main part of our program today will be about understanding how different parts of our society are influenced in different ways by algorithms. Uh, but as we do every year, we will open the conference looking at numbers.